I think like I think like people don't fucking understand what they read when they read One Piece especially the people to say Luffy hasn't developed at all as a character that's literally false if you if even if you're trying to speak chronologically in like the order the chapters are released that's still false we've seen Luffy at several points in his life throughout One Piece when he was a child when he was 17 and now when he's 19 he's changed he's changed dramatically from all three points he's he's nowhere near the same and like we didn't, of course, to him, the part of him being a child came later into wars in the series. But we saw what Luffy was like when he was a kid. We saw what he was like when he was a kid. Compare that to the first chapter of One Piece. He's Luffy in the very first chapter. Maybe it's the second chapter, but basically, when Luffy talked to Kobe at the very beginning of the series, he literally said, "I want to be the Pirate King, and if I die, I die." Basically, he's like, "Yeah." I mean, you have to already Luffy. Luffy is already well developed it was it it's like seven years it took he, he until he left when he was 17 to go be a pirate he was already preparing himself for the journey the first half of one piece took place in a year you, you see the most notable changes to somebody after a few years and one year they're not going to change dramatically but even with that being said um, unless it's unless they're like really young and, and, and moldable like like um like like children but Luke's not a child he's damn near an adult but uh, he was already ready to die for his dream. That's he's a well developed character already. There was very little reason for him to change, but he does have several changes, and I'll go through them. One of the most major ones that Luffy, like, first, first off, people act like Luffy can't retain information, and retaining information is in, in the literal sense development. What did Luffy learn from Shanks? Why are you letting them guys talk to you like that? He threw a drink on you. Shanks was like, bro, I don't care. You can spit on me. I don't care. Like, what? It, it doesn't matter to me. Not every fight is worth fighting. Not, it's not always. It's not always worth it. Luffy learned that. If he didn't, he would. He wouldn't have told Zoro. Hey, Zoro, don't do anything. It doesn't matter how hard these guys hit us. He would have told, like, don't do anything. He told Zoro, don't do anything. Even Nami didn't get it, but Luffy got it because it was just some development he had. So Luffy learned from Shanks that it's literally not worth it to always have to fight somebody. It doesn't matter, like, like, and that's one thing I learned from Shanks too. I take it personally. It doesn't matter if people insult you. It doesn't matter if people think about you. It doesn't matter if people say to you. As a child, Luffy didn't understand that. It also, another way, Zoro taught Luffy a lesson. When Luffy wanted to go run back to Usopp saying, yeah, come back, join the crew. Zoro had to tell Luffy, hold on, wait, chill. Hold on, wait a minute, dude. I don't know him when he stick my neck in. I don't know him when he tell you what to do, but hold on, you got to listen to my advice here. You're our captain. You gotta demand respect. Like <laughs> this is your ship. You can't. If if he doesn't apologize, we just you 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 should leave without him. And Luffy had to understand that. Zoro and Sanji had to knock that 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 sense into him. Hell, the whole Luffy Usopp situation was sheer development for both of them. Think about what it took Luffy. Think about what it took Luffy to actually fight Usopp and put his foot down and say, no, I'm the captain, this is what we're doing. You gotta understand, like, especially with Luffy, Usopp, and Chopper, how they dynamics are with the rest of the crew. They're like the, they're like the three brothers that just run around and have fun with each other. It's always playful for them. It's always playful for them. The whole Water Second, Water Seven saga in general was a, was a good chunk, was a good piece for Luffy to, to grow even more as, as a person, not, not just as a fighter, but truly as a person. Like, hey, he, the whole speech he gave Bluno, he's like, you know, man, I've been, you know, I've just been thinking about it, you know, like, I fought Kuzan, uh, I ran into Crocodile, and then, you know, I just realized I ran into some pretty strong people, and, and I was kind of, I was just thinking I could just show up here and just beat the shit out of everybody, but that's not really what's gonna, that's not possible. I, I'm gonna have to, even though I spent so many years preparing for the Grand Line, even now, I still have to improve. Even now, I have to take this more seriously. I, you know, I have to come up with new ways to fight so I can protect all my friends and stuff. What is it? What is that but like a person changing, <laughs> developing? Gear Second was 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 the um, embodiment of that development he got in in Water Second because it was it was it was the manifestation of like his motivation, the manifestation of his will. Now, granted, I'm not saying Luffy goes through drastic character changes. He absolutely does not. He absolutely does not go through drastic character changes. It's not like Luffy was a spineless fucking wimp and end up being a mafia badass like Suna was by the end of um, Hitman Reborn. S Suna developed drastically, but Suna, Suna had a lot. There was a lot to change her. Luffy was already Luffy had 
the sheer determination to be ready to die. Buggy almost executed him. He was like, oh, guys, I'm dead. Like, you, you can't really go past there too much because when you have that type of mindset, you're already kind of set in stone. So there's really only going to be, like, subtle changes that you could have from there, like Luffy acknowledging, accepting. I'm pretty sure it was the first time Luffy generally dealt with loss. Now, granted, yes, to his perception, he already lost Sabo. You got to understand, like, Luffy was like, what, what? Like, except anywhere, I don't know his exact age. I'm, I'm gonna guess like anywhere from like eight to like ten. I'm gonna just spit all that out there when he lost Sabo. I lost, I can speak from experience. I lost, I lost grandparents at that age. Even though you understand what happens, you don't really understand what it means to, to truly someone's not coming back. I mean, when you get older, you, you have a better grasp on it. That's why when Luffy was older, that's why he reacted way more uh, dramatically. To Ace dying, because he was older, dude. That was his brother. He was like, fuck, Ace is dead. He wanted to quit. He he was going to quit. He was like, I'm done, bro. He, as far as he's concerned, he's like, I lost my crew. Uh, I lost my brother. I got my ass kicked. There's a hole in my chest. I'm just going to sit here and fucking chill with the Amazons. I quit. He was going to quit. He overcame that grief. That's developing. Like I'm saying, I'm not making the case that Luffy dramatically changes. No, he won't. Because he's already set in stone. Luffy's not an idiot. He's simple. He's simple He's simple minded. He's driven off of instinct, mostly. And he's not an idiot, you know what I mean? And he's already pretty much... There's a difference between being an undeveloped character and already, and already being a developed character. Like, if Luffy was undeveloped, shy, timid, whatever, and, and, and you get like 900 chapters in the One Piece and he's the exact same way... I will understand your cases more, but you gotta understand, we've seen Luffy at set different times in his life throughout the entirety of One Piece. Even though there's no there's no real chronological, oh, he was this way, this arc, and the next arc he learned this <laughs> lesson, and now he's this way. No, that doesn't happen in One Piece, because he's already an adult. He, 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 he's, he already has his mind made up. He has a dream, and he's chasing it. There's, you can't really sway him from there, you know what I mean? There's nothing to really change. The only thing he can do is have, have slight tweaks and character changes or just or just or just things he ab absorbs from just his day-to-day -day travels from going from an island to island meeting people to people there's the things he absorbs and he moves along with it and he just it's like he just digests and he becomes just part of who he is Luke, to develop is to change in any aspect it doesn't matter how grand or dramatic it is so to anybody making it the argument that luffy doesn't develop in the slightest it's just, that's literally just not but it's not the truth I'm not saying he goes through drastic character changes, but to say his character hasn't evolved at all, it's not the truth. Even if you compare how he is, chapter one to chapter like fucking 517 or whatever the fuck the time skip starts. I think that's the, the, the episode the time skip starts. It's probably like six something in the manga. But uh, he's different. <laughs> you see, you know, it's like he's different. Compared to how he was when he showed up with Rayleigh or Ruki Yoshina. Rukishina, Rukishina, something like that island, to how he was when he left with Hancock. Hell, Luffy even said, wait a minute, Hancock wants me to stay out of trouble. <laughs> when has Luffy ever kept people, other people's, when he ever kept shit like that in mind pre time skip? He didn't. He was a cannonball. He ran through everything. He didn't give a fuck. That's development. I'm not saying it's drastic. I'm saying it exists. I just, I don't know. I just never got the concept that people say no. Luffy goes through no changes. Meeting Saints literally changed his entire life and perspective. That's developing. You can't compare Luffy to as a child to how as he is now or to how he was two years ago. He's just... He's not the same fucking person. And hell, Luffy... Luffy is such a well-developed character, he develops other people's fucking characters for them. <laughs> like with Vivi. Or Nami. Or Robin. Or Shirahoshi. Or Rebecca. <laughs> I don't know. Hell Hydra. <laughs>